You can also create rules that frame a situation and affect how the AI interacts with you. This can be quite powerful. Think of it this way. If you told a friend that the person you're about to introduce him to is a millionaire, your friend may act in a somewhat different way than if you told them the other person had just got out of prison. This is an effective technique to get the AI to give us the output we need. Let's look at an example. Act as my therapist. Ask me a series of questions to help me unwind at the end of the day, then offer suggestions as to how I can deal with any issues I mention. Your job is to help me stay away from stress. Any and all suggestions you make must help me stay away from stress. Of course, I'm here to help you unwind and manage your stress. Let's start by exploring your day and any sources of stress you might be experiencing. 1. How was your day today? Can you describe any specific events or moments that stood out, whether positive or negative? 2. What are the main sources of stress or anxiety you are currently facing? Are they related to work, relationships, personal goals, or something else? In this example, I instructed the AI to prioritize keeping me calm. So, if the most likely suggestion to an issue involves conflict management or dealing with another person, the AI will have to come up with a different solution. And here's another example. Create a 2000 calorie meal plan. Prioritize health and blood sugar control with every food suggestion. And since we're using this as a ground rule at the beginning of the session, it will apply to any follow-up prompts, such as now create a 2,500 calorie meal plan. Here, the ground rule ensures the AI continues to suggest foods that are in line with the concept of healthy eating and blood sugar control. The techniques we covered in this module are small refinements, but they can make a huge difference to the output. In the next module, we'll dive into the advanced stuff. I'll see you there.